Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be the fourth part of the long-awaited video on the D4R2 receiver um, in and the Naze32 flight controller in combination with the Tyrannus radio. So that's what we're going to cover here, and there was a couple of functions that I haven't covered that I have been meaning to cover for some time, and they're actually quite easy and quick to do. So I'll show you exactly what they are. So one of the cool functions with this is I've got two switches here. One is my RSSI and what it will do, the radio will give me RSSI call out. So what it's doing is actually giving me a call out every five seconds and you can set it to three seconds if you want or five seconds or whatever you want. Now that's really handy when you're cruising around with one of these and you might be cruising around slowly just to see how your signal is in a certain area. So if you're not running an OSD and you need some telemetry back in terms of how your video signal is in certain places that you're flying, it's really a good way of actually sussing out what the signal strength is actually like. So I use that quite often when I'm exploring somewhere new. And also the other function which I need to arm this for and it should be armed. Yes, we are armed. We've got our voltage reading. So I'll exit out of that. Is what I can do with my trainer switch is... 12 volts. 12 volts. Um, so if I need to know what the voltage is, I can actually use this at any time. 12 volts. And it'll give me a voltage call out. So uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to program those. And it's really, really easy once you've got everything set up. So if you haven't watched... Part one, two, and three of the part one, two, three, and four, I think it is, of the video. Check that out, and uh, this will be the final part in this series. So we're going to run through and show you exactly how to set those up. So what we're going to do now is go through and program this guy, and it's pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to actually program is the trainer switch, and what I want the trainer switch to do is give me a cell call out, as in the voltage call out on the actual uh, multi rotor or aircraft for that matter. So what we'll do is we'll hit the menu button once and that'll take us into a menu. Now if you hit the page button, you'll actually cycle through as in two of 12, three of 12 and so on. So I want to go in the other direction. So the easiest way is hold the page button down, hold it down again, hold it down again. And we want to go to this screen. So the first thing we want to do is actually come down to, uh, this is special function five and we want to set that up for the cell warning. So what we'll do, press enter, and over here we'll press enter again, and we'll cycle through. Actually, the easiest way of doing this is coming down here, and if you actually flick the switch there, it'll actually change that. If I flick any of the switches, you can see it's changing. So I'm gonna flick the trainer switch, and you're gonna see exactly what's gonna happen, and it's already set that for me, and that's what I want. So when this trainer switch is actually activated, it'll actually do this special function. So we go down and press enter and we go to the next one. And what I wanted to do here is I wanted to actually play a value. So I press enter and I'll cycle through until I find play value. Play value. Select that. Go down to the next one. And what I want is my cells, the total cells voltage. Press enter. And this is a real pain to find because I think it's a fair way up. It's there somewhere. Cells, that's what we want. And we only want it to play one, so it's 1x, that's fine. There's no dramas at all. So that's already set up and that will actually play our cell voltage. So you can, if you want to know what your voltage is of your uh, multi rotor while you're flying, this is a good way of doing it. So we'll exit and we'll come down to special function seven. I'll program that in there. First thing I'll do is press enter to select that. And that's selected. And we'll come down here, we'll flick this switch up. And there we go. It's already set up to that switch. So that's exactly what we want. So we press enter to confirm that. We'll go down to this override and we need to change that again, once again to our play value. 
So we'll scroll up. Plug value, that's fine. And this one, what we want it to do is actually give us an RSSI callout. So I'll press enter and select this one now. And I'll scroll, scroll through until I find RSSI. And once again, that's a fair way up to. Sorry, I'm really bad at doing this. And I've got a camera right in front of me so I can barely see the uh, Tyrannosaurus screen. Ooh, too far. There you go, RSSI, that's good. Now, what I don't want it to do is play that value once. When I've got that switch on, what I want it to do is actually keep repeating the value for me as I'm flying around. So as the signal strength is dropping off, I can see how much is dropping off and work out where are the safe areas to fly and they're not so safe areas. So we'll go down one more. And what we'll do, zero, BB, zero, BB. we want to change zero, it to BB. five seconds. Zero, BB. Zero, BB. Exit. Now I've got the actual multi rudder off, that's why it's saying zero, Z, DB. zero DB. But if you see if I switch it off, that's no longer selected, it's not saying anything. And if I switch it on, zero, DB. that's working. So hopefully you can see that now. Uh, if I slick, flick this switch on, zero, DB. Zero, DB. Zero, DB. And I've obviously also got my voltage. Zero, volts. Zero, volts. Now, obviously, zero volts because I've got my multi rotor switched off. So that's the way you would set up these two switches if you want to for um, your voltage callout. Zero volts. And also your RSSI callouts every five seconds. Zero dB. Zero dB. So, anyway, that's basically the way you go about doing this. Hopefully, that makes some degree of sense. I hope you found this video useful. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video and I will catch you guys later.